Hi, folks, and welcome to In the Kitchen with Pete. It's been a while since I've done a video. Out playing too much pickleball and golf, maybe. Nonetheless, this is a video that I've wanted to do for some time. I often get asked how I grow my garlic. So I videoed this over the course of a year from the time that I've planted till the time that I harvest. And at the end, a cool tip on how I use my garlic. Let's get to it. It's time to plant our garlic. We live in Southern Ontario, around the Hamilton area. And we plant our garlic after the first frost, somewhere around the end of October, beginning of November. I've separated my largest heads of garlic from the year before crop, and then take out all the cloves and begin to plant them. It's a real simple process. My father-in-law, Bob, has dug the trough, and then I begin to plant the cloves of garlic. Real simple. Plant the clove, point it side up, about seven inches apart from each other and four inches deep. Now here's a hot tip. Before we cover up those cloves of garlic, we sprinkle a little bit of bone meal, which is a fertilizer, which will help that garlic grow. Check this out. Only about six weeks later, they've already began to poke their heads out through the ground. And now fast forward eight months later, around the end of June. So what is escape? Well, they grow out of the top of the garlic plant. They start out straight and eventually curl up like a pig's tail. And you snip those off three weeks before you pull the garlic out of the ground Removing the scapes redirects the plant's energy to the bulbs, resulting in larger bulbs or heads of garlic. When the scapes have curled up about one and a half times, that means it's time to remove them. Those things are great. You can cook these in stir fries. Typically the end here, this would have been a flower if you left it on. But just oh, about there, or slightly above, you cut that off and discard it. And then use the rest of this curly piece. I'll be using a stir fry tonight. And they're great just for throwing in some soup into stock. Let them sit in there like you would any other vegetable. And then you can remove them after. So three weeks later, which was about the third week of July, it's time to pull the beautiful garlic out of the ground. My father-in-law, Bob, using a spade, loosens up the garlic, and then I pull it out of the ground, shake off some of the dirt, and then we go on to our next part of the process of harvesting your garlic. So you know these are ready to be taken out of the ground. These leaves on the bottom have turned brown. Look at the size of these. It's going to be a beautiful crop. Many hands make little work as my wife Kelly uses some twine and begins to tie up all the heads of garlic into bundles. Five or six heads to a bundle works for us and that's the beginning of our drying process. Giving the garlic a haircut. <laughs> it's like a bad hair day. <laughs> Actually, kind of looks like Pete in the kitchen with Pete garlic. <laughs> and there's all the scrap. It's going to make a nice smelling bonfire. The garlic is ready to be hung. You can see the nice little bundles Kelly has made. We simply place a rope in the garage, 15 or 20 feet long, and then tie the little bundles to the rope. It will hang there for three weeks, and I also run an oscillating fan continuously to help dry it out. Now after about three weeks after they've dried in the garage, 
Simply use some pruning shears to remove the stems, place the heads of garlic in a cardboard box, and store in a cool, dry place. I store the box of garlic in my cool basement, and I've had it last over eight months. When purchasing garlic, look for a local grower. Ensure the head hasn't split and that it feels very firm to touch. Or better yet, grow your own. You won't believe the difference in the quality, in the aroma, the texture. You're gonna love it. Now here's a little tip you might find handy for making garlic butter. Start out with at least a half a pound of butter. Add as much minced garlic that you like for your taste. And then you can see the green flecks in there. I add a bit of parsley for color. Using a spatula, place about half of it on top of some cellophane. Now roll it back and forth, twist up the ends, make it nice and smooth, place it in the freezer. Before you know it, you're going to have beautiful tubes of deliciousness just ready to pop out of your freezer. Store the tubes in a Ziploc freezer bag. Now, whenever you need something, you're doing a stir fry, a steak, and you need yourself a nice tab of garlic butter, take a sharp knife, cut it off, and voila! Instant beautiful garlic butter. Place it back into the Ziploc, back into the freezer, and it's good for at least six months. A great tip. Well, I hope you were able to find some tips that were useful to you. Thanks for watching as usual, and I always appreciate a thumbs up and leave a comment if you have one. Well, until next time, see ya. Thank you, we got lots coming up, so stick around everyone.